wide range of causes etiologies in from starting from ischemia infection uh, inherited causes endocrine disorders the most important are the idiopathic 20 to 50 percent of dcm are idiopathic 20 mutations are known and most common mutation in lemon ac mutation uh, lmna gene uh, mutation is associated with high risk for the sudden cardiac death genetic testing may be helpful in these cases because Sometimes STD occurs even prior to heart failure. Predictors of sudden cardiac death in dilated cardiomyopathy, age at diagnosis less than 14 years, increased LV and diastolic dimension, and greater LV IDD and LV posterior wall ratio. Use of if we are requiring to use the antiarrhythmic therapy within one month of diagnosis. The other causes are primary arrhythmias and channelopathies, in which the most important are two, long QT syndrome, Brugada, and arrhythmogenic RV dysplasia. Others are short QT syndrome, catecholaminergic polymorphic VT, WPW syndrome, and complete congenital heart block. Arrhythmogenic RV dysplasia. This is rare in this area, but most common cause of sudden cardiac death in young athletes in Italy. Plus clinical presentation, uh, it typically occurs in early adolescence, ventricular arrhythmias, which are usually provoked by exercise. Incidence is 1 in 2,000. Risk of STD is 2% uh, per year. 30 to 50% cases are familial with autosomal dominance inheritance. In arrhythmogenic RV dysphyxia, there is a progressive uh, change of partial replacement of the RV myocardium with fibri uh, fibrous and fatty tissues. This leads to the thinning and enlargement of RV with poor contractility. Diagnosis usually made on uh, MRI. ECGs are suggestive of typical epsilon waves. Uh, epsilon waves are present in V1, V2, and V3, widening of QRS, and T wave inversion in anterior leads. 2D, it is difficult to diagnose on 2D echo. Uh, MRI is required. And the other investigation that can be done is the endocardial voltage mapping. This can identify the areas of uh, myocardial atrophy and fibrofatty replacement of myocardium. In this, there is a sustained monomorphic or polymorphic VT with LBB morphology, which lead to the ventricular fibrillation and sudden death. Sudden death occurs due to ventricular arrhythmia or CCF. Um, ICD is required in patients with the significant symptoms. Other uh, catheter ablation or ventricular stoming can be done. Now we come to the ion channelopathies, uh, already discussed long QT syndrome and Brugada syndrome. Sodium, potassium, and calcium ions, uh, there are different channels which are required for, which are responsible for the action potential, repolarization, and depolarization. So any gain and loss of function of these channels will lead to the ion channelopathies. Long QT syndrome. In this, there is a prolongation of QT interval, which can lead to ventricular tachycardia, torsets typically. Long QT syndrome can be congenital or acquired. Congenital occurs in, one, in 2,500 to 3,500 individuals. Males have a higher rate of cardiac events, and it is a leading cause of sudden cardiac death in young females. Long QT syndrome can be acquired particularly in bundle branch block, cardiomyopathy, or scarring, some metabolic electrolyte abnormalities, and medications. There is a big list of medication which can be seen uh, on this side. And we are long QT syndrome. It is symptomatic in 60% of uh, patients. Uh, uh, usual symptom is syncope. That can occur after a loud auditory stimulus in 8%, swimming 15%, Commonly after exercise in 41% or emotion, uh, intense emotion 42%. This can lead to syncope. The other symptoms are seizures or palpitation. It is asymptomatic in 40% of cases, usually diagnosed after a cardiac event. And that can be uh, lead to syncope only or sudden cardiac death. 12 lead ECG is diagnostic, QT interval more than 0.46 second in uh, children less than 15 years or more than 0.45 seconds in adult male or in adult female more than 0.46 seconds. Uh, QT interval should be corrected for heart rate with Bajet's formula and uh, sometimes with borderline QT uh, interval 
the patients have symptoms of syncope or sudden cardiac death. So in 1993, Peter Schwartz developed a set of diagnostic criteria which includes the ECG and clinical criteria also with family history. These are the Schwartz criteria in this. Uh, they, they have taken in account the QT interval, corrected QT interval, T wave alternance, torsets, notch T in lead 3 or low heart rate for age. <coughs> clinical features like congenital deafness or syncope and uh, family history if there is family history of uh, long QT syndrome or unexplained sudden death. The uh, marks points given to the each point and if it is four or more they are diagnostic of the long QT syndrome. The treatment part beta blockers are given uh, except in cases of long QT syndrome type 3. Uh, high thoracic left sym sympathectomy can be done or ICD may be required. Families should be educated for the CPR and uh, genetic study should be done in first degree relative and screening should be done in cases of first, deg uh, first degree relatives. Next is the Brugada syndrome. Brugada syndrome, uh, uh, the most common mutation in Brugada is the SCN5A and uh, it is endemic in Southeast Asia and 70% leading, second leading cause of death in males, 70% in fourth decade. Ventricular fibrillation or sudden cardiac death usually occurs at night or during rest. Febrile illness can provoke this lethal dysrhythmia. Usually diagnosed after an aborted second cardiac death or syncope. The ST the on ECGs are diagnostic with the code ST segment elevation in V1, V2, V3 followed by a negative T wave. There is a R, uh, RBB, a partial or complete right bundle branch can be there. ECG abnormalities may not be evident until unmasked by the sodium channel blockers like procanamide or flucanide. Treatment is uh, this ICD should be placed in these patients. Uh, although rare in our area, comatiocardis is also important cause in adolescent uh, sudden cardiac death. It occurs, uh, requires a blow directly over the chest uh, and timed within a narrow range 10 to 30 milliseconds prior to the peak of T waves uh, during the vulnerable phase of the repolarization. Direct impact will lead to the ventricular fibrillation. Occurs mostly in less than 18 years of age. 62% events occur during a sports event like football, baseball, or ice hockey. 50% uh, patients suffer immediate collapse, and the fatality is a uh, more than 84%, even uh, with availability of AED. The survival directly related to the length of uh, time to defibrillation. Next is catecholamergic uh, polymorphic VT. It is a genetic channelopathy caused by mutation of RYR2 gene, which uh, encodes the sarcoplasmic calcium ions. It usually typically occurs in childhood and adolescence, characterized by the ventricular ectopy, which increased with the exercise or emotional stress. Cannot be diagnosed on the surface ECG. Exercise stress testing is required, which lead to the increased ectopics. ectopics or bidirectional VT with bit to bit 180 degree rotation of QRS complexes. If CPVT is left untreated, 50% mortality is there. Beta blockers are given and some patients will require ICD. WPW syndrome. Although in WPW, the sudden death is uh, not very common. Uh, WPW is diagnosed with a short PR interval, pre-excitation syndrome with delta waves. Asymptomatic WPW, there is only ECG changes or WP syndrome, syndrome when ECG changes are associated with the cardiovascular symptoms. Prevalence is 1 to 3 per 1,000 persons. And un sudden cardiac death is, although uncommon, but can occur if these risk factors are present. Younger age at presentation, less than 30 years. Males, history of AF, prior syncope. Uh, associated with congenital heart disease or there is multiple accessory pathways are there. A shortest pre-excited RR interval is peri during an invasive EP study. If it is less than 220 to 250 millisecond during an atrial fibrillation, it is the best discriminator for those at risk of ventricular fibrillation in cases of WPW. Congenital heart diseases. 
congenital heart disease, the incidence of sudden cardiac death is uh, 100 per lakh patient years. Sudden cardiac death is usually in, uh, associated with increase in age of patient and time since surgery. Like in top, the most common time for sudden cardiac death is 20 years after surgery. Uh, this includes both the operated and unoperated patients. The unoperated patients, uh, the common causes are hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, aortic stenosis, and coronary abnormalities. The other causes are mitral valve prolapse, Eisenmenger syndrome, primary PAH, Epstein's anomaly, corrected TGA uh, in CCTGA because of complete heart block, or chronic AR. Operated patients, the four, these four causes are important. Operated TOF, co-optation of aorta, TGA, after staining of mustard or aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis accounts for the 3 to 6 percent of all cases of CHD. Congenital AS, there is 1 to 3 percent incidence of pediatric sudden cardiac death. It usually occurs in a symptomatic, moderate to severe aortic stenosis patient. The other risk factors are if there are symptoms of uh, syncope, exertional dyspnea or chest pain, or ECG changes uh, of strain pattern or there is signs of LVH are there, more likely at risk for the sudden cardiac death. The second common anomaly of congenital heart disease is uh, coronary artery anomalies. It is the second leading cause of sudden cardiac death in young athlete. Most common cardiac anomaly, uh, coronary anomaly that is associated with sudden cardiac death is if left main coronary artery is originating from right coronary cusp and uh, there is intramural course or intra-arterial course between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. This accounts for the most for the SCDs. During exertion or exercise, the artery gets compressed here and there is ischemia which lead to the arrhythmias. Death typically occurs in these patients immediately after exertion. The other less common are origin of right coronary artery from left coronary cusp uh, there is the here also entire atrial uh, course is there but in this scenario the, the incidence of sudden cardiac death are quite less alkappa anomalous origin of left coronary artery from pulmonary artery or single right coronary artery left main atresia some acquired coronary artery abnormalities are also there which can lead to the sudden cardiac death like in Kawasaki disease patient if there are giant coronary aneurysms are there in post-transplant, cardiac transplant patients, uh, few of the patients, 20% develop the coronary vasculopathies. Um, status in uh, post-op TGAs, in after arterial switch operation, uh, the coronary osteal stenosis can be there. Premature atherosclerosis can occur in uh, 18 to 30 percent year of patients. In this, uh, after sudden cardiac death on autopsy, found that single vessel disease, mostly in left main or the proximal LED, is responsible for this. Alkappa, uh, Alkappa, 80%, 85% of cases present within one to two months with CCF, and uh, if unoperated, 90% mortality in first year of life. The diagnosis is based on the ECG and ECO, uh, ECG suggestive of enterolateral infarct, uh, and the management is surgical revascularization. Post-op CHDs, uh, the study uh, shows that uh, this uh, sudden cardiac death is the most common cause in post-op patient. The other causes are the second surgery or pulmonary hypertension remaining or the congenital uh, CCF or ant bacterial endocarditis. But the most common cause is uh, sudden cardiac death. This are the group of the other different uh, post-op patients. Like in ASD, PDA, it is zero, around zero. And uh, most common is the aortic stenosis. Second most common is TGA. After 20 years, there is uh, incidence in top sudden cardiac death in incidence increases and uh, coarctation. These four are the important. On follow-up of top, if there is ventricular arrhythmia is there or due to PR, if uh, RV systolic pressures are increased, ventricular arrhythmias are there, or on ECG, QRS duration is more than 180 millisecond, or there is LV dysfunction on ECO, these are the patients who are at high risk for the sudden cardiac death. TGA, uh, after mustard or staining procedure, if there is venous pathway, the causes of sudden cardiac death are ventricular failure, venous pathway obstruction. 
atrial arrhythmias followed by ventricular or uh, after switch coronary artery osteoastenosis or lack of vasodilatory reserve during exertion these are the causes that can lead to the sudden cardiac death aortic stenosis there is acute lv failure or increased lv dp and ventricular arrhythmias these are the three important causes after coac repair sometimes due to aneurysmal rupture of the post op uh, patch acute lv dysfunction or arrhythmias these can lead to the scd screening for scd at the present time there is no widely accepted screening guidelines to identify children at uh, greater risk for the sudden cardiac death and uh, screening ecgs are being done at some countries with, where it is mandatory like in japan and italy he, they are they are doing the screening ecg of every school child and, and there is a increase in diagnosis of the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy long qt and wpw and brugada on this ecgs treatment primary prevention medical therapy for different arrhythmias or on time placement of devices like uh, icd or pacemaker activity restriction after diagnosis as in aortic stenosis or uh, avoidance of particular medications in some patient like long qt syndrome some medicines should be avoided and the most important is family education the families should be educated for the cpr and families screening should be done secondary prevention involves the chain of survival that includes the early symptom recognition early activation of the ems uh, early emergency medical system activation should be there facilities effective bystander cpr should be available and uh, early defibrillation provision of advanced hospital care these are required for the to save this sudden cardiac death patients take home messages sudden cardiac death in young is rare 25% occurs during sport most young children with sudden cardiac death have underlying heart disease but mainly coronary artery abnormalities and uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy arrhythmogenic rv dysplasia and long qt syndrome are the most common primary arrhythmic uh, causes early cpr and widespread availability of aeds could prevent about 25% of these pediatric sudden deaths Thank you.